This chunky looking machine is the Fang Bao 5. It could easily be a rival for something like a Jeep Wrangler or even the Ford Bronco. It's a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle has 686 horsepower so it's an absolute beast if you do want to exploit all that performance but really a big part of what people are going to like about this is just that chunky rugged look i mean you see you've got these chunky floorboards you've got a lot of this solid plastic cladding all the way around and even though you've got gloss finish on these door handles all these bits are all hard wearing plastic and very, very rugged looking. You can see as well, it's got these proper chunky BF Goodrich tires on it as well. So this is gonna be capable of tackling all the proper terrain. You've got super short overhangs here in the front and the face of the car, well, it's very identifiable. It's probably a little bit smaller than a Land Rover Defender, but overall, it's still a pretty sizable machine. I mean, this is by no means a small vehicle. It does look pretty good and even as you come around the side, especially when you look at it in the whole side profile, you can see exactly how boxy this machine is. There's a plenty of ground clearance too. And really, this is a car you're gonna wanna go and tackle any sort of off-road conditions at the weekend or anywhere you might wanna go. This thing is probably gonna be up to the job. Like all true proper off-roaders, you've got a spare wheel stuck right on the back end, but it's also got a wheel cover with a built-in reversing camera. And of course you have all of the chunky hooks here for when you do need to pull somebody out of wherever they're stuck. There's also a side hinged rear boot, which opens up all the way 90 degrees. And then inside you can see how much room you've got as well plenty of storage space in there. You've got power sockets, you've got lots of tie down hooks as well. You've got more 12 volt sockets, 220 volt, and you can also then fold down those rear seats. They have a 60-40 split as well. Plenty of room to go away for a proper weekend. Just like the outside, the interior of the Bow 5 is really, really chunky and rugged. Although it's not exactly utilitarian in here, there's a lot of very high-end quality materials. Lots of leather in here, you've got cross stitching, you've got heated and cooled uh, seats here as well with a lot of support, especially on the sides, which is really what you want when you're gonna be in a proper chunky off-road environment. So that's great that they can help keep you in place as well. But you've got grab handles here on the sides as well. So the passengers and even on the driver's side, you've got these extra grab handles. You've got one on the front here. You've got a full touchscreen here for the passenger. You've also then got a normal central touchscreen as well, which has all the usual features you'd want. You can check everything through your car, your infotainment, everything is done there. And you then have a digital instrument display right in front of you and a head up color display. So this really is just like your command center, your cockpit for everything you're gonna need for driving this thing. And I say cockpit because there's even these kind of toggle switches here, which have this kind of glass finish on it as well. And these are all for picking your different modes. You've got everything like your locking differentials here as well. So you've got all the usual features you would expect from a proper off-road vehicle is here. On the steering wheel, there's a little bit of a flat bottom here. You've got extra toggles here for controlling different functions. So you can toggle through different terrain modes and all that will have an impact on how the car actually is going to perform in these situations. And you've got a chunky gear selector here as well. I like this, it kind of looks like it's popped right up from this, how it's curved, it's in a nice position as well. So very easy to use that. You've then got this central area. You've got your air vents in there. You've got two wireless charging pads. This one is even ventilated. So it's a 50 watt charger. So you can pop that on, have your phone charging up while you go and you still have more storage space in there too. So really there's a lot of room in here, a lot of practical features, but it's also high-end stuff. One thing I really like in here, you've got a fridge unit as well. So perfect for when you're gonna be out on the trail, you can have your fridge, uh, keeping your drinks nice and cool as well. And you've got the usual cup holders here as well, and they can actually have different sizes as well. So as you put your drink in, if you've got a bigger cup, you can just push it down and it will be able to accommodate that. What else is it like in here? Well, you've got 
controls up here again for your full panoramic glass roof and the sunroof so that will also open up and uh, there's even more space in the back so let's go and have a look there and see what that's like there's lots of space back here as well for those in the back including big grab handles as well and you've got more up here so no matter how extreme your off-roading is going to be those in the back will be able to hold on for dear life and um, you may also want to pull down the extra armrest just for a little bit of bracing if you need it there's a couple of cup holders there again fairly flat all the way across you've got a fully flat floor as well which is useful the outer rear seats can also be heated which is nice and this has USB A and USB C so it's going to cover all your charging you've got some air vents in here as well and you've actually got a pretty good amount of visibility the way these seats are shaped they are still quite chunky but you've got a fairly good field of vision as to what's coming down the road in front of you and i really love having that glass roof as well it just makes it a lot more bright inside a lot more airy i like that the seats are actually sitting up nice and high so i can stretch out my feet underneath as well so it's always really nice to be able to do that especially if you're going to be on a longer journey got decent nice comfortable armrests here as well and you've got the usual sort of top end stereo systems that you'd expect in a car like this so that's our first look at the fangshan bow 5 it's really a proper rival for things like the land rover defender jeep wrangler or the ford bronco would you have one over any of those we'd love to know what you think so tell us in the comments below in the meantime if you want to know more about this or all of those rivals I mentioned, head over to our website. It's completecar.ie and you'll find it linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.